Nihalem Micro, Architecture. The next major architectural change came with the release of the Nihalem Micro, Architecture, in 2008. Nihalem chips are multi-core chip multiprocessors with some major architectural enhancements, which necessitate more discussion about it. The first and foremost change is that Nihalem incorporated an integrated memory controller, that is, the memory controller brought inside the chip, on motherboard. This allowed memory to be accessed directly from the CPU, and that made memory access very fast. In previous processors, memory accesses were subject to the speed limitations of a front side bus. Nihalem also paved the way for the use of a quick path interconnect instead of front path bus. The second change brought about in Nihalem was to integrate a level 3 cache into the chip. Previous processors had to use an L3 cache on motherboard. This is also welcome change. Figure shows a 4 core processor based on the Nihalem micro architecture. Note that integrated memory controller IMC interface to a dual channel DDDR3. Further, note the presence of two QPI links. Any Halem chip is divided into two broad domains, namely the core and the uncore. Components in the core domain operate with same clock frequency as that of the actual computation core. The uncore domain operates with a different clock frequency. With the release of the Nihalem Micro architecture, a new series of processor names also started to be used. They are Core i3, Core i5 and Core i7. Core i3 is meant for relatively low-end applications, while Core i7 is for high-end applications. The Nihalem Micro architecture is designated as the first generation of the core processor family.